DNA in each one of your cells is just 2 nanometers across, but around 30 to 40 million nanometers long. To keep DNA organized and regulate access to the genetic code, it is wrapped around structural proteins to form nucleosomes, which are then further organized into fibers called chromatin. The chromatin fibers are packaged into gigantic molecular structures called chromosomes. We are now pulling away from a chromosome out through a nuclear pore, which is a gateway through the nuclear membrane. We are zooming back to reveal a cell about to undergo mitosis. The nuclear membrane breaks down, releasing the chromosomes. The chromosomes are arranged in the middle of the cell before being pulled apart with identical sets of DNA going to each side. The cell then splits down the middle, creating two new daughter cells. This visualization isolates a single chromosome at mitosis. The chromosome contains two identical copies of DNA. Each DNA molecule is packaged up into one of the sausage-shaped chromatids. Sticking out from either side are microtubule fibers from the mitotic spindle used for orienting and guiding the chromosomes to their correct positions. The red region is the kinetochore, which works as the interface between the microtubules and the chromosome. The kinetochore is one of the largest and most complex molecular mechanisms inside living cells, with multiple functions to perform. The kinetochore is central to the movement of the chromosomes, and is able to hang on to the dynamic ends of the microtubules. It is also a mechanical tension sensing system, which is able to feel if everything is correctly attached and positioned. It is also a stop signal broadcasting system, sending out chemical signals to the rest of the cell about whether it is ready to undergo separation of the chromosomes. This kinetochore has sensed that the tension is just right and the chromosome is correctly positioned and attached. The last little bit remaining red is the stop signal broadcasting system. It is carried away by a dynein motor, walking down the microtubule away from the kinetochore. These are molecular motors involved with a directed transport along the mitotic spindle. The orange proteins walking to the left are kinesins, molecular motors carrying proteins on their back. Striding from the kinetochore on long molecular legs are dynein, carrying the stop signal broadcasting system. When all the kinetochores are ready, the cell transitions into the anaphase stage, with the chromatids pulled apart to the opposite poles of the cell.